Okay guys, just had my 3-in-1 coffee. I love 3-in-1 mix. Very convenient here, especially in a hot country. Um, that way it's mixed up with hot water. They gave me my urn of hot water, which is very nice. I've had my Barocca multivitamin. I do this because some people don't know what it is, so they're like, what the hell is this guy doing? Okay. Apparently the magnesium and zinc are very good to help you recover when you're sick. So just mix it up with some water. This is a budget hotel, guys. I paid about 33 something, 33 dollars and change a night in US. So I'll try and find a price list to show you guys, but it was about, let's just say 33.50 US, okay? It is a budget hotel. If you guys saw the entry, when I first rocked up, that was scary, man. That was like a bad joke. Okay, just gonna go back and show you guys what I mean. It's on the heavy, on the heavy construction and renovation. Look at all these materials. Like we thought we were in the wrong, wrong location, man. Seth and Lynn, Professor Style. Lynn speaks, you know, fluent Tagalog. She's like, Kuya, to the tricycle driver. Kuya, you have scammed us. Why have you taken us to this concrete, concrete factory? This is all concrete, cement, whatever you want to call it. You know, why is it all rebar? All these iron bars, rebar, you know? Or steel, mild, mild steel bars. What's going on, you know? And he said, oh, don't worry, don't worry, it's not a trick. Because someone tells you to go down this weird alley, you're going to be like, no way, I'm going down there, you know? And then he's like, no, no, it, they're renovating. So he picked up our luggage and carried it in for us. And of course, we immediately saw it. it's a beautiful, beautiful, uh, like, cheap hotel. Good morning. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, look, we'll keep going. His reception. The staff have been pretty friendly. Oh, always everyone's friendly here. Look at this beautiful hardwood furniture. Is this is your main reception area. You can smoke here. For those who are interested, they just bring you an ashtray and then you just got to clean up after yourself. Parlor One does have anti littering laws, okay? You have to be careful. You want to preserve the environment, but you don't want to get a fine or have your locals yelling at you. That is nice though, that is nice though. This billiards table is a pain in the balls. Uh, I'm sorry to say, guys, it kept waking me up in the middle of the night. People come play billiards, it'll wake you up. This is my room right here, next to the reception. People also sat here, you may have saw the video, people don't care, backpackers will just sit here and use, try to use the Wi-Fi. They don't give a shit, this is my room, that really pisses me off. Okay, that's a bad design. I'm sorry to speak loud, guys, but it's really just ridiculous. You know, even, even when I ask them nicely, like, can you please move? All right, let's keep going. Good morning. Good morning. Seth and Lena down there. We might go harass them. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. That's about it, guys. You got some basic gardens. I'll show you that too. And upstairs is being renovated, so that's literally it. Good morning. Room service. <laughs> They're probably sleeping. They told me to wake them up though. They told me. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll talk to you later. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> no, he told me. He told me to go get, go get him. He doesn't want me to go out without him. Gets jealous. Anyway. Guys, I want to hurry up. I'll forgive all the movement. I'm going to give you guys another shot. There's really not much else to say. It is a simple place. It is a budget place. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. We need that coming into it. Okay. So that's fine. All the staff have been friendly. Some of them are relatives of the, the owner. See, that's the internet. See that little setup? Okay. That is the internet. Okay. Expect to see things like that in public one. Okay. It would not be reliable. It would not be fast. Okay. Okay. Just give you a shot. The neighbors love burning trash. There was a lot of trash burning last night. Heaps. Like, I mean, this place was smoked up. That's why I didn't take any video or photo. And of course, it's very discomforting. We're choking. But it's nice. Very nice grounds. I might sit, sit out here. Get some sun. Okay. That's cool. Solar panel. I'll give you a nice, nice shot of the outside. There you go. Now... 
See if the camera can focus. See all that rebar? See all that raw material? Right? It, this, it's still under construction, guys. Or heavy renovation. Apparently, this is an older business. It has been around for a while. But um, they're just doing some mods. Okay. To stop the amount of movement, I'm going to go up those stairs, okay? But I'll just show you guys. Like, see this? you got this beautiful polished up look, but see how it's all worn out? The place is aging. Okay. Okay, I'm just one level up, guys. I didn't want to jump around too much with the camera. See, I was just down there. Let's go up together. You guys see what I mean? Okay, check it out. Look at all this. Okay, it's still under construction. Okay. Your wires hanging down. I've got to be careful, guys. I'm not supposed to be here as well. I spoke to the construction guys last night. They didn't mind, but they're like, sir, yeah, don't come up here. It's not safe. Just because of construction. And, uh, you know, I think they'll be embarrassed too. It makes the place look run down. Okay. So that's it, guys. Very simple. I'm going to go back downstairs and get breakfast. You said the front. I guess that was the old sign. You got a guy doing welding up there. Pretty much, you just walk down there, and there's your main street, and then if you walk it parallel over that, that's the beach. Uh, very close, everything's very close. Good morning, oh, sorry. I don't know why all these people are hanging around. Maybe they're waiting for their, their ride. Or... I may be six or eight, it depends on how I'm Sorry, I'm at reception. Guys, this is the pricing just for you who are interested. You have to book here by phone or in person. As you can see, he had to ride it by hand. I did pay more online, that's normal. It's just something you have to accept when you book online. There's brokerage fees or uh, online booking fees, credit card fees. But yeah, so what is it? It's 1800 a night in peak season, October to June. From July to September, it's 1500 pesos, okay? And he's a German. <laughs>